People seeking unique designer type homes don't have to limit themselves to finding that perfect plot of land in which to build. There's a lot more water than solid ground around the world. And that could be the ideal place for would-be seafarers to place a floating home. Here are 10 smartly designed houseboats or floating homes ready for the water lover to move in. I'm Glenn, and let's have a look. Number 10. Amsterdam Holland's Plus 31 Architects have created a stunning houseboat which features a hybrid electric drive with solar panels and a spectacular modern design. A German adventurer and entrepreneur commissioned this dreamboat. Considered halfway between a ship and a houseboat, it has large windows on three sides that provide outward views of the ocean and plenty of sunlight for its living areas. The house also features direct access to the water as residents can jump in from almost every room. After a swim, residents can then absorb some sun either on the roof or on the front deck. A similar sailing model is being designed to live on the water all year in an eco-friendly way. The builder's floor plans range from 16 yards to about 26 yards in length with storage underneath the deck. Number nine. A Czech company, better known for designing and building small, efficient prefab cabin homes, is stepping out with a flexible design houseboat. They were asked to use their skills on a cabin for the water, and this is the result. Their prefab houseboat is called Pridomki Number no. 59, and it features an adjustable interior design so it can be a vacation cabin or a small work office. It sits on the river near the center of Prague. The houseboat was made by combining two modules that were then attached to a steel pontoon. Friedomki prides itself on building smartly designed portable cabins with low energy usage. Number eight. Here's a whale of a houseboat. This floating villa, as it's called, weighs in at 165 tons and features six bedrooms with 1,900 square feet of living space. Located on the water in the town of Kalmar on Sweden's east coast, the boat has a large top deck garden, a 322 square foot terrace, a high tech kitchen, and a dock for visitor boats. The owner wanted something that was low maintenance, low energy, and at one with nature on the water. Villa Nakros was nominated for the Swedish Building Industry's Building of the Year in 2003. Number seven. Described as highly adaptable lodging solutions, the box-like Punta de Mars is available either plugged in or unplugged. They offer the cabins as waterfront tourist accommodations and as individual small water vessels. The Spanish startup company says it's a way to connect you to the surrounding ecosystem for a memorable experience on the water, an ocean getaway. The project was created as a collaboration between Spanish architecture firm Mano de Santo and KM0 Open Innovation Hub. The boat is 796 square feet with rooms on two levels with a design using distinct vertical lines. The top of the boat offers a large chill-out deck with unobstructed ocean views.
Number six. This houseboat sits nearly in the city center of Harlem in the Netherlands, along the Sparn River. The Harlem Shuffle Floating Villa One. It has nearly full length, high windows facing the street, bringing in plenty of sunlight to its rooms. The newer energy neutral home collects solar energy using PV panels on the roof, combined with a heat pump in the concrete hull that gathers energy from the difference in water and indoor temperature. Number five. Built in the USA, the ARCUP floating home by ARCUP Livable Yachts is a unique take on a floating home. This luxury 4,300 square foot houseboat is the world's only customized self-lifting barge. It can cruise along or be anchored in a marina and be hydraulically lifted to stand on its pilings above the water. The vessel is a 75-foot yacht that is eco-friendly, fully self-sustaining, and hurricane-resistant with standing winds up to 155 miles per hour. Luxury touches are throughout the boat, with five terraces and balconies and a large swim platform. Number four. Taking the tiny house concept to sea. Four different models of this high-styled home are available from an Estonian architecture firm. They're called the Coda Light Float and are described as having minimalist luxury in a sustainable house. The original Coda sat on solid ground, but now it's on pontoons. These stylish prefab structures are relatively small, but live large on design with solar power, modern kitchens and bathrooms, comfortable bedrooms, and shaded terraces. The Codas are delivered turnkey and installation takes one day. Options include a rooftop garden and a second unit above the roof. Codas are sold around Europe and in Canada. I'm Allie, and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time by looking at just these images. Do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number three. Float Wing, a smartly designed floating home is pegged as a romantic getaway for two. Alternatively, a mobile house in the middle of a lake for a family or a group of friends. The Portuguese-based Friday Company makes water leisure vehicles and homes and will build this house to your liking and ship it to you wherever you are. Floatwing is self-sustainable for up to a week so it can float on the most remote waterways. This electric-powered houseboat is 6.5 yards wide and 11 to nearly 20 yards long and generates up to 80% of all the energy it needs and reduces by 90% the organic load of its wastewater. It also has a barbecue and a wine cellar. It can move in the water using two small outboard motors and moves at a speed of five knots. Number two. 
The Sealoft floating house is 90% recyclable and seeks energy autonomy with solar panels, a wind turbine, and batteries. This houseboat was the result of a project for floating supported housing with the Sailwood Shipyard. It features almost 48 square yards of living space. The builder is exploring several options regarding its sales, some for second homes or rental property as an investment. The original boat is currently renting similar to a hotel suite and soon for weekly rentals. The builder says several French ports have shown interest in the Channel coasts as well as river operators. Also, a larger sea loft, called the XL, is in the works. Number one. Moving utterly opposite to a box theme, the Anthenea floating habitat is a luxurious floating round domed pod with a glass bottom. Designed by a French architect, it features a rooftop bar, five solar panels, plus a generator that lets the boat stay off grid. There is no shortage of room on the Anthenea. It has three living areas, which comprise of a lounge room, a bedroom with a circular bed, and a relaxation area for up to 12 persons on the roof. It has 538 square feet of living space. The pod is inspired by the Atlantis in the 1977 James Bond classic film, The Spy Who Loved Me. This unique hotel suite is floating around the south coast of France. That wraps up this mouthwatering taste of floating homes. Which one did you like the best? Would you order it for your favorite waterway getaway? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.